Jesus. 
and serenity as a whole. We bring you greetings on this morning. We love you on this morning. Um, my pastor, my pastor, Pastor A. Dewey Britton, I just thank God for him, my husband, my friend, and I just thank God for his support. And I just ask that you all will pray um, on this morning for me as I deliver this message the way that God has given it to me. Amen. 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 So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I lift you up on today. This morning, God, I ask, oh God, that you would speak through me, oh God, that what you have given me, that I will deliver the way you gave it to me, oh God. I ask that you continue to have your way, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I will be coming on this morning from Philippians chapter 2. And just go along with me, please. And I'll be reading, starting at verse 1. And it reads, therefore, there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection of mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind, let nothing be done through strife, through self-ambition, are conceit, but, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Let each of you look out, not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. And go on to verse five, which would be my, my verse that I would use on this morning. It said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ, Jesus. Amen? Amen? So I just thank God on, the, on this morning, and, and it, this truly blessed my heart. So I'm just going to give you a little background on, on, on chapter 1. And this is Paul writing this epistle to the Corinthian Christians at Philippi. And I, and I just said, Paul, he was encouraging the people that he, he groomed. And even though, let him know, even though I may be writing to you uh, in prison, I want you to know that I yet, mm -hmm. I am yet on the, doing the mission and doing the purpose God had called, has called me. Mm -hmm. He said, don't, don't feel no pity for me because I'm yet on the battlefield. I'm yet ministering. He was saying, I'm ministering to the, the imperial, the, the God. So God, I mean, so Paul letting them know, hey, look here, y'all got that, y'all got that. Stay right. He's encouraging them to continue to do what they were taught. So Paul, he started this church in, in Philippians. And um, he just encouraging them to let them know that he's okay. Being that he's in jail, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So we just thank, thank God for, for, for Paul on this morning. He said, hey, look here. That joy, that your joy that, is, that God has proclaimed, you know, joy and fellowship with the Philippians, Christians, and above all, keep that joy. Amen? Though he was writing from prison, he's like, look here, don't let your circumstance, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't let your circumstance determine your joy. Don't let your circumstance determine your joy. Amen? Because sometimes we, we, we get into, to, we have these circumstances and we allow them to steal our joy. We allow them to, to, to take our mind off the, and get us off focus on what God would have us to do mm -hmm. and what he's telling us to do. But Paul, he was like, look here, y'all don't know what to do. But you guys are, are just, you're kind of getting a little off here. But Paul's encouragement letter through, you know, throughout this, this, um, this chapter, Paul, like I said, Paul was encouraging them um, to live out their lives that are obedient to God. Amen? That are obedient to God and that they are uplifting to one another. We have to uplift one another. Amen. We have to be obedient to God. And that Paul, his letter was, you know, was telling them, hey, look here. This is, this is what we have to do. So be encouraged and know that I'm okay because I'm yet doing the, on this mission on what God has called me. Amen? So here, when we start out here on verse 2, here in Philippians chapter 2, it says, and then we're here on, on here, it's like, 
by saying, if one of the, if anyone in has any comfort, encouragement, or tenderness from the love of Christ, they should make his joy complete by acting in a way that would be pleasing to Jesus. This means that they should we we should reform from doing things out of our own self ambition. Because God, He don't want us to, to be like that. Everything we do, we should be giving God the glory. And, and when I look at um, chapter two and, and verses one through four, and, and this here is this not a practical message of, of this text. It said, have this mindset, the attitude amongst ourselves, which was in Christ. If we are to comply within these, these verses, verses one through four, we must possess the same mindset and attitude towards Christ. Amen. So getting here to my mess, my scripture, the scripture that God has given me on, on this last week or so, and it says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. It said, let this mind be in you. This mind, what mind is he talking about? He's talking about the mind of Christ. He's talking about this word. Let this word get in our mind. Amen. So that we can be focused. Because sometimes, I don't know about you, but my mind be all over the place. It's all over the place. Sometimes you're trying to sleep. You can't sleep. Sometimes you're even praying. You can't focus on praying. You know, it's just that mind, that mind, that mind is a battlefield. But in the scripture, tell us, let this mind mm -hmm. be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So when we find ourselves, when I find myself struggling to focus, I need to go and read God's word because that will settle our mind. Mm -hmm. So let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And he would bring that mind in. Because when I can't sleep sometimes, I Lord, bless my mind. Bless my mind, God. And I can just get a song in my spirit, a scripture in my spirit. And God would bring that mind into, you know, to, to part. And it's like, okay, God, thank you. Because, hey, this mind will have you jump off a cliff if you ain't careful. All right. This mind will have you snap mm -hmm. if you're not careful. So it's, and this was a let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. So this these verses here, five through eleven, it shows us how that is to be how it's to be done by describing a servant from from the example of Jesus that He set for us. It is consistent with the new nature in Christ. We cannot allow. Christ to live through us and not be a servant. Only through servanthood can we be obedient to God's call on our lives. Paul urges the church to strive for unity and humility in a very real sense of these two things, so closely related that it is not possible to have one without the other. Amen? Without having one without the other in the church. So throughout this letter, Paul has been lovingly addressing the main problem in the Philippian church, which was sin and disunity. Amen? Sin and disunity. It, it, will, it will tear up the church. It would have you and have your mind going all different kind of ways. But if we look at this, Paul says, look here, we cannot do things on our own. We cannot go around robbery and being selfish. Selfish. We have to be selflessness. Amen? But, but if we're going to do this thing by the book and by the way that God wants us to, we are going to have to let the mind of Christ dwell in us. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep us a sane. You know, sometimes we can be insanity and doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome, which we're not going to get. Especially 
if we are not showing unity, if we are not showing love, if we're not, if we're just robbing with us, we have to have the mind of Christ. Amen. If we are saying we are serving a God that 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 is a good God, so we have to manage that God that we're serving. Amen. We have to be specific when we're going out. Or uh, if we're in these four walls, we have to be the same. And that is showing love to everybody. Everybody. You know, we have to do that. If we call ourselves Christians, we have to live a life that shows Christ dwelling on the inside. So what's on the inside is what's going to come out on the outside. Amen? So we can't hide this thing. We cannot hide this thing. So Paul used Jesus as the ultimate example of servanthood leadership. And after urging his audience to humble themselves and live selflessly, amen, and that says in uh, Philippians 2 through 4, he reminds them of Christ's incarnation. Here, the ultimate leader made the ultimate sacrifice. He, le he left the glories of heaven and the highest position in heaven, not only to join his creation, but to take on the lowest form of this creation. Amen? Jesus stopped through six levels as he moved down towards us. In his leadership, he, he practiced the law of sacrifice. He practiced the law of sacrifice. So why can't we sacrifice sometimes our feelings towards others? Even though they might have did us wrong or we did somebody else wrong, we ought to forgive sincerely. Amen? And sometimes, you know, just like with Paul, he was in prison and, when, and he was their leader. So when you think of that, their leader was gone. So I guess they felt they didn't have any hope. They didn't have any hope. So when you're thinking you don't have no hope, then you just, you scatter. And that's when the enemy comes in and attack the Christians. Saying, okay, what you gonna do now? Paul in jail, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And that's when all the robbery and the selfishness and, and, and disunity came into play. But Paul was letting them know, no, 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 no. We have to stay the course. We have to stay the course. And, then, and how are we going to do that? Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ. This is the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. So if we don't know what God is saying, we need to get in his word because that is what's going to keep us sane. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when it's... It, it, it's when God gave me that, it fitted me. Because my mind was just discombobulated. Mm. And it's my mind over here, it's over there, it's up here, it's back there. Mm. It's like, Lord, what is going on? I need you to bless my mind. What is going on? I gotta say, just give it to me. I got this. So don't worry, y'all. Don't, I can't say don't worry, because it's, it's natural for us to worry, but don't stay there. Right. Quickly give it to God and say, Lord, I need your help. Quickly. Lord, I need your help. So yes, this pandemic, you know, things is not usual. It's not the same right now. But you better believe that our God knows exactly what's going on. So let's bring our minds in. Let's settle our minds and it is no other can't do it without the mind of Christ. So we have to let this mind which is the word of God be in us which is also in Christ Jesus. Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice mm -hmm. for you and for me. So Father God in the name of Jesus Lord God I just thank you on this morning God and I pray that this word didn't go out Lord, oh God. You gave it to me, oh God. And I delivered it, Lord God. So Lord, I ask that you will continue to have your way, oh God. Touch right now, oh God. Someone 
is it, battling in their mind, oh God. Don't know which way to go. Don't know what to say and what to do, oh God. So center their minds, oh God, on this morning, oh God. So Lord God, I thank you for all that you're doing. Hallelujah, God. I ask, oh God, that you would touch, oh God, our sister, oh God, Sister Rosalie, uh, Logan Lee, oh God, and the loss of her son, oh God. I lift up her spirit right now, oh God. I ask that you would give her that added strength, oh God, as she prepared to lay her son to rest, oh God. So, Lord God, we ask, oh God, that you would have your way throughout this day and use us, oh God, to share your love, oh God. Use us, oh God, even the more to, to share love, oh God, to be unified, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, we just thank you all today that we will continue to let this mind, which is your word, hallelujah, be in Christ, within you, within Christ Jesus. So we thank you for that on this morning. God bless you. God keep you. And if there's anyone that's out there that don't know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as your Savior, all you have to do is repent. And said, Lord, I, I want to accept you. I want you in my life. I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm being tormented in my mind. I'm being tormented in my mind. I'm being tormented in my heart. And Lord, I need you today, this morning. God, I need you to step in and bless my mind. Hallelujah. So if you don't know him, all you have to do it says, Lord, I repent. I repent. I want to be saved. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. It's nothing hard. And you know what? He will forgive you right away. That's how good God is. That's what kind of God that I serve. Amen. So my God is a good God. Hallelujah. He wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth. If you don't have a church home, Hallelujah. And you live over here in Jacksonville. Come by serenity. Come by serenity. If you live in St. Augustine and you don't have a home, come on over to New Mount Moriah Christian Ministries. And I guarantee you're going to receive some love there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we just thank you all this morning. And those that, if you have a, a testimony, if you want someone to, to get in touch with you, in the comments, write your name, your phone number. Somebody will get with you. Amen. So we just thank God on today. Continue to allow God to bless you and use you on this day. And don't forget, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. God bless you and God keep you. Thank you, Jesus. We're now moving on to the part where everyone can partake. You just can't be God-given in this moment. So it's now an opportunity for you to sow into the kingdom. It's offering time. Here at Serenity, we have a few ways for you to be able um, to send us your offering. And you can visit us at www.serenitychurchjacks.com. Under the Give tab, you can choose PayPal or Cash App. Or you can go directly to your Cash App under dollar sign Serenity Jacks and Give. Amen? It's now announcement time. And I just want to remind you to please stay safe and wear your mask. Um, social distance, follow the guidelines. We love each and every one of you. And we'd like to see you constantly here at Serenity Christian Fellowship Church. So let's continue to keep each other lifted up and be encouraged, okay? Stay connected. We're moving on to announcements today, and our announcements are that we have two special birthdays that we'd like to acknowledge and also celebrate. So we're asking you that you would reach out to these individuals and wish them a very happy birthday. Our first birthday that we'd like to acknowledge will occur on September 15th, and that is Karen Dunnigan, the daughter of our very own Sister Lavetta. So please give her a call. We wish you a very happy birthday, Karen. May God continue to bless you with many, many more. 
and I pray that you'll celebrate it in an amazing way this year, um, maybe in ways that you never thought of during this COVID-19 pandemic. So we wish you a wonderful day. And our next birthday is on September 18th, and it is our very own First Lady Britain. And guess what, Facebook? She is turning 60 years old. We're going to be celebrating her 60 years young. May God continue to bless her. Don't she look good, y'all? Come on now. She's 60 years old and still as funky and feisty and hardworking and, hey, she can roll with the best of us. We ask you the question, and we hope that you are blessed by the word that came forth. What's on your mind? The scripture reading came from Philippians 2 and 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We thank you for joining us, and we pray that you are truly blessed. We know that your life is guaranteed to be changed by the power of the Holy Spirit and the living Word of God. Thank you for joining us, and we pray that you will return next Sunday. We pray that you will be fed. God has a right now word just for you. This concludes our service for today. Please join me in saying, a child saved is a soul saved plus a life. God bless you. Enjoy this Sunday.